presentation, Dynamic Host Configuration Protocol, or DHCP, works in the network infrastructure. At the end of this presentation, you will be able to explain what DHCP is, describe how DHCP works, explain how routers can forward DHCP broadcast packets, and describe how a DHCP relay agent works. In Transmission Control Protocol, Internet Protocol, or TCP IP networks, many components are used to ensure that each TCP IP host can communicate with other TCP IP hosts and access network resources. DHCP is a TCP IP protocol that provides a way to dynamically allocate IP addresses to computers on a network. Now let's look at an overview of DHCP. All TCP IP hosts, such as client computers or network devices, require TCP IP address and configuration data. Systems administrators can manually configure and maintain IP configuration for clients, or they can use DHCP to dynamically assign, configure, and maintain the TCP IP configuration data for each host. Because DHCP centrally manages address allocation, DHCP helps prevent address conflicts and reduces administrative effort. DHCP also helps conserve the use of IP addresses by providing IP configuration data for a specific period of time called a lease period. In addition to configuring a DHCP server to provide a TCP IP address in the configuration data, you can also configure it to provide clients with additional IP information. This information can include data about the router or default gateway, domain name system, or DNS, and Windows Internet Name Service, or WINS servers. For example, when a client is added to the network, the client requires a TCP IP configuration for the specific subnet. The client sends a DHCP broadcast packet that inquires about the availability of DHCP servers that can provide TCP IP configuration. When an available DHCP server receives the request, the DHCP server responds and offers TCP IP configuration data to the client. If a DHCP server is not on the local subnet, you can help ensure that hosts are able to obtain TCP IP configuration data by configuring a router to forward DHCP broadcast packets to a DHCP server on a remote subnet. If the DHCP server on the remote subnet has been configured to service the subnet that the host is on, then the remote DHCP server can send the TCP IP configuration data to the client. If you do not enable the router to forward DHCP broadcast packets, the router will reject the DHCP packet and the client will not receive the TCP IP configuration data. You can also use a DHCP relay agent if there is no DHCP server on the local subnet. When a host sends a DHCP broadcast packet, a DHCP relay agent has the IP address of the DHCP server on the remote subnet and can address the broadcast packet directly to a DHCP server on a remote subnet. The remote DHCP server sends the TCP IP configuration data back to the relay agent who then broadcasts on the subnet. The host receives the data from the relay agent. In this presentation, you have seen how DHCP works in the network infrastructure, how you can enable routers to forward DHCP broadcast packets, and how a DHCP relay agent works to help ensure that hosts are able to obtain TCP IP configuration data.